There is the fence, as you can see. Hi guys, and welcome back to our channel. It's the one and only girl, Fina. Thank you so much for coming again today. I'm really grateful that you guys keep on coming to watch my videos. Uh, today we are going to talk about cost of fencing. Yeah, fencing. A lot of you have requested for this video and um i've posted a video of this kind before explaining how you can calculate your blocks your uh, cement and all the materials you've been needing for fencing but still a lot of you have been asking so one of you one of us here yeah requested for this particular one fencing of six plot of land okay so i am going to i decided to share you though I decided to share it with everybody so that if you didn't watch the previous video on fencing, you can watch this to do your calculation by yourself to know exactly what you need, the quantity and all that. So we are going to dive into the video now, but before we do that, please, I have a request to make. I want to use this medium to play with you who is just watching me for the first time. So kindly click that subscription button, subscribe to my channel if you are watching me on YouTube and follow me if you are watching me on Instagram or Facebook. As well, I want to beg you to kindly like the video if it's helpful to you and help your girl to share the video with your friends and well wishers so that those who need this kind of video can get in touch with it. And I believe you are saving life by doing that. Yes, you are saving life. So let's dive into the video. Today we are going to talk about how to figure out what you need to fence a six plot of land in Nigeria this year, 2023. With the present price of materials, um, uh, please, a lot of you have been asking me for the prices of materials. I think that will be my video for tomorrow. I'm going to bring um, the prices of material, all the materials for you. Okay, so keep calm. I'm here for you. All right, let's dive into the video. The, um, the first step is to make sure that you know how the plots are set up. Since this affect how much materials that will be used so the second one is for you to to note the second one to note um is to talk about the type of foundation that is needed in this particular one the place was strong rocky kind of so it's a strip foundation that was used okay a lateral so the third important thing you should do or information you should know is the plot size in this case we have 18 meter by 36 meter so let's find the linear met matrix of the fence by adding the site length and width which will give us after adding it you will have 252 meter now take the above number number and subtract subtract the room the gate takes you know when it comes to gate you don't need any space you, you don't need to calculate it because you're not going to dig it you're not going to put blocks there so it's always a space you you subtract from the total um size so when you do that um according to this they said let the space for gate be 3.6 so when you minus 3.6 you'll be having 248.4 meter so we are going to work with 246.8 um, 48.4 meter 248.4 meter so now let's figure out how many blocks you will need whether you are buying them or you are making them block and a block so keep in mind that a normal six inches and nine inches block is 450 mm which is 0 0.45 meter so and uh, that is for the length this 0 0.5 meter long and we will work out with 10 coaches 
defense was 10 coaches so the calculation here is with 10 coaches so it depends on how many coaches of block you want for your fence which means 10 blocks stacked on top of each other all right the right question is how many blocks will fill one row of fence the answer is 552 blocks which is the length of one fence row divided by the length of one block we need 10 rows so we just we will just multiply 522 blocks by 10 to get 5220 5, blocks always keep in mind that some blocks will break so think about bricks which means you will buy more than that that is what i'm trying to say so let's figure out how much cement we will need for the base and putting the blocks we start by figuring out how much concrete we need for the base then we use a constant to figure out how much cement we need and we also use a constant to figure out how many blocks we want to set now cement let's start with cement the volume of concrete is given by l by w by h that is l stand for the the total perimeter to be fenced in which is 248.4 meter y w stands for w is sorry W is how wide we dig the foundation, which is 0 0.45. But we are going to use 0. Point, we use 0 0.675, which is uh, the standard. So H stands for how thick do you think your foundation concrete is, or how thick the foundation concrete will be. Let's put it that way. So the standard is 150 mm. I've always been saying this, but some people use 100 mm to save money, to save money, but it's better to use 150. So, which is 0 0.15 m. Note that I made sure all the units are in meters to keep the numbers as small as possible. So, the amount of concrete in the foundation is 248.4 meter. Divide and uh, multiply by 0 0.675 meter by 0 0.15 meter, which is 25.50 meter cube. Now, now we will use the cement factor to figure out how many cement we need for in this lesson. We will use the ratio 1, ratio 2, ratio 3, uh, ratio 4, I mean to say, which equals 6 points, that is 6.5 bags of cement per 1 meter cube of concrete. In the foundation, the ratio is 1, ratio 3, ratio 6, which is 4.5 bags of cement per 1 meter cube of concrete. We need which means that we need 114 bags of cement. When you multiply it, that is 4.5 bags of cement times 25.15 meter. That will give you meter cube. That will give you 104. So now we have found out that 114 bags of cement will be needed for the concrete. That is for the foundation. Now let's find out how many bags of cement that will be needed for the block work. All right. Oh, remember, we are using six. We used, or you are, we are using six inches blocks here. So it's always safe to use this fixed value. It is true that zero point sixteen bags will let ten blocks. Zero point sixteen bags is for ten blocks. We will let ten blocks on a square meter of ground. If so, how many bags? will then lay 5,220 blocks, which is the total amount that we got here. The answer is 5,220 blocks multiplied by 0 0.16 of that 10 blocks. Uh, I mean, yes, 10 blocks, that is times 10. When you multiply, when you divide uh, 5,220 by 0 0.16, you multiply by 10. That is what I'm trying to say here. And that will give you 
84 bags of cement so in total you'll be needing 198 bags of cement that is 114 for the concrete then 84 for the blocks all together is 198 bags of cement for this fencing so we already know what blocks and cement we need for the job next we'll talk about sand and granite firstly the amount of sand needed for 25.15 meter cube of concrete in the foundation is 0 0.46 meter cube since there is 0 0.46 meter cube of sand in one meter cube of concrete we just need to increase the formula by 25.15 meter cube um which gives us 11 point this is with a different formula of one ratio two ratio four so this will give us 11.57 meter cube of sand in the foundation in order to find out how much sand is needed for 10 blocks Multiply the constant by 5,220 and split by 10. This gives you 10.44 meter cube of sand for blocks. The total amount of sand needed for this job is 22.01 meter cube, which is equal to 11.57 meter cube plus 10.44 meter cube. Are we together of oh, sharp sand yeah it's sharp sand we'll be using for this to get this amount of sand in tons what do we do we can multiply 22.01 by 1.6 which will equal 35 tons of sharp sand so now granite granite in 25.50 meter cube of base now we can speed up since the since we know the rules so the amount of granite needed is 25.15 multiplied by 0 0.92 that will give us 23.14 meter cube of granite which is 46 tons of granite when you convert it to tons so we already know that we will need blocks, cement, sharp sand, and granite for the job. Without plastering, this cement, these materials we are calculating, plastering is not included. Okay, this is just for the laying of block and the casting of the foundation. Okay, so you need water. Remember that, unless you have borehole or unless you have source of water in your site already, you forget about that. So now, cost of work. Let's get the rough estimates. Okay, digging. Yeah, you know you have to pay for that. So for digging of the foundation, we as I I just estimated fifty to hundred thousand. It depends on your area and the texture of your soil. Yeah because if it's so rocky if it's so hard they will charge you more and sometimes if it's if there is too much water they will charge you more so it depends then another thing is making the foundation base cost between three thousand five to five thousand naira per meter cube depends on your area as well some places are more costly than other places so setting up blocks some places it is 15 naira six inches block is 15 naira per one some 80 naira but i just set aside 50 to 100 naira remember we are working with 5220 blocks so you multiply by 5220 blocks to get whatever it gives you another thing is to add up all the other costs like clearing the the place uh the area boys yeah you have to settle them the water, if there is no source of water in your place, the scaffold, that's all that. You should just put aside 100000 for it. It might be more, depending. So to calculate, remember that from our calculation, we got 35 tons of sand. Yeah, when you multiply by how much um, 
uh, sand is being sold in your area, you will get the amount. But it's advisable not to buy exactly 35 tons. You should go for 40 tons. Granite is 46 tons we got. You can as well buy 60 tons. Cement, we got 198. You can go for 200 bags. Then blocks, we got 5,220. You can just buy 5,500 uh six inches blocks for that then workmanship it depends i might be that they're going to charge you per block it might be that they're going to charge you just once for everything i just calculated and i got five thousand uh five hundred and three thousand naira. so difference is for anything that can come up you will just keep like hundred thousand as i've indicated above so find out how much material costs in your area i've said that you know for you to know exactly what you should expect when calculated with what we have just done then it will help you a lot and in my next video i'll try as much as possible to come up with the prices of materials these days and also make an estimate a rough estimate of fencing with the present prices anyhow tomorrow okay to help you because i know some people will still watch this and ask me not to be teaching how to calculate but to give rough estimate but i believe that if you can pay much attention on this it will help you because when it comes to building it doesn't have a specific size uh, or a fixed size that you say this is the size of it four bedroom four bedroom doesn't mean it's the same thing uh one four bedroom might consume more than the other one depending on the 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 style and everything so it's just an idea that you need even though i'll be coming up with rough estimates for you but i believe that if you can get this it will help you go a long way and if you choose to use concrete column at interval you would need to you will need more money that is just it because it will consume more cement more materials more nails more wood more planks and all that because you have to cast it and the woodwork has to come in mm -hmm. So that is it. You have to know tomorrow I'll be bringing up um, the total estimate on this uh, six plot of land. The total um, uh, cost of fencing six plot of land in Nigeria with my own price. So you can go ahead and get your own price, calculate it and know the the amount and also with the prices of materials in Nigeria today all right thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like the video click on that thumbs up uh, button that will help me go a long way and also help you get to share the video if you haven't done that now that you are done watching click on the share button and share with your friends and well wishers and don't forget to subscribe or follow me if you haven't done that thank you i love you see you tomorrow bye